Welcome back. Today we will be discussing the relationship between PSA and prostate cancer, so let's dive right in. Before we delve into the connection with prostate cancer, let's understand what PSA is. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen, a protein produced by the prostate gland. Its primary function is to liquefy semen, aiding in sperm motility. The elevated PSA levels can be an indication of potential prostate health issues, including prostate cancer. PSA testing is a common tool used by doctors to detect prostate cancer. It involves a simple blood test that measures the amount of PSA in the bloodstream. This test can detect both early-stage prostate cancer and monitor the progression of the disease. Generally, a PSA level below 4 nanograms per milliliter NGML, is considered normal. Research has shown that there is a correlation between elevated PSA levels and an increased risk of prostate cancer. Generally, the higher the PSA level, the greater the likelihood of prostate cancer being present. However, it's important to remember that PSA testing alone is not a definitive diagnostic tool. Additional tests, such as a prostate biopsy, are often required to confirm the presence of cancer. It's important to note that elevated PSA levels don't necessarily mean a person has prostate cancer. Various factors can influence PSA levels. Age is a significant factor, as PSA levels tend to increase naturally as men get older. Ethnicity can also play a role, with African-American men having higher baseline PSA levels on average. Prostate size and recent activities such as ejaculation or certain medical procedures can temporarily elevate PSA levels. Additionally, non-cancerous conditions like an enlarged prostate, benign prostatic hyperplasia, and prostate infections prostatitis, can also cause elevated PSA levels. Therefore, if you have an elevated PSA level, it's essential to discuss the results with a healthcare professional. For individuals diagnosed with prostate cancer, monitoring PSA levels is an essential part of the treatment and follow-up process. After treatment, a decline in PSA levels over time can indicate that the cancer is responding well to treatment. Conversely, a rise in PSA levels might suggest cancer progression or recurrence. However, it's important to note that a single elevated PSA level does not always indicate cancer recurrence. A rising trend over several tests is typically more concerning. In conclusion, PSA plays a significant role in the detection and monitoring of prostate cancer. While an elevated PSA level can be an indicator of potential issues, it doesn't provide a definitive diagnosis on its own. Regular screening, including PSA testing, is recommended for men at higher risk, such as those with a family history of prostate cancer or African-American men. Remember, early detection and regular checkups are vital for maintaining prostate health. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.